Let's talk England versus Spain now. Because now we're in a situation where, for me, you have the best team on the in the tournament, period, versus a team in England that, I can't lie, have been pretty crap for most of the tournament, but are now, in my opinion, improving game on game on game on game at the right moment. And I can't lie, in these kinds of tournaments, peaking at the correct time can sometimes lead to crazy, crazy results. However, if we're being honest, this is kind of what England did last tournament as well too at the Euros, at the last Euros, excuse me. Group stage was shaky and then as the tournament grew and grew and grew, they improved and improved and improved. Unfortunately though, what Spain are doing right now is basically what Italy did last tournament as well too. From match day one to the final, basically be the best team at the entire tournament, bro. Basically be the best team at the entire tournament. So really, how can England beat Spain? How can England on Sunday turn up and beat the team that no one has been able to get near? I'll be real. I don't know how they do it, man. I'll be, I'll be real. I don't know how they do it. It's obviously Southgate's job to kind of fix, uh, figure out. But realistically, Germany have tried and failed in their own way. France have tried and failed in their own way. What does England have different from either of those two teams that on Sunday, they can really match up to Spain? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm really trying to envision a solution to England beating Spain. Talking about penalties. It might have to be penalties, bro. Because over 90 minutes, right? Here's another thing with England, if you've noticed. They're a team that forget about growing into tournaments. They grow into games. And that means that means that they're going to have to be in this game with 10 minutes left to go, five minutes left to go, going into extra time. The issue with Spain, though, is they might kill you in 30 minutes. This could be a game, realistically, that Spain has finished in the first half. England are a game that get better as the game goes on. They're a team that picks their moments as the game kind of wanes. Like I said, they're the, 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 the kings at the death of coming up with moments, but you have to last till the end to even have that moment in the first place. And my biggest worry for England is that Spain don't even give you the chance to get late into a game where a Jude can pop up with a moment, where a Saka can pop up with a moment. My biggest worry for England is that after 45 minutes, Spain are done with this game already. Another issue too, Walker and Trippier. Surely, by the way, right, we have to see Luke Shaw in the final. Luke Shaw now has played half a game this game. He's played maybe, what, 30 plus minutes in, in the game against Switzerland. Surely now Shaw is ready to play the final from minute one to minute 90. Or at least, okay, if he needs to go off, he goes off. Surely we're at a point now with England, Luke Shaw is ready to start. But my biggest issue for, for England right now is how do Kyle Walker and whoever plays on the left cope against Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams? Surely it has to be Shaw because Trippier, if he plays against Lamine Yamal, He's going to be the latest victim. He's going to be the, the latest victim, bro. He's going to have his career ended by a 16-year-old. Walker will handle Williams. Are we sure about that? Has Walker handled anybody at this tournament? I'm not sure about that, bro. Walker got away with it today. Gakpo wasn't on it. Gakpo is the, is the kind of player, in my opinion, that, that Walker feasts against, bro. Gakpo is, 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 is food for Kyle Walker. That kind of assignment. I think Nico Williams could give Kyle Walker nightmares, bro. I'll be real. Maybe Kyle Walker of a few years ago, yeah. But this current iteration of Kyle Walker, eh, I think Williams is going to have him, bro. I think Williams and Yamal are the two danger men. Well, I think. I know they're the two danger men. They've been the two danger men all tournament. I think they're going to give those two massive, massive problems. And then in midfield, Colby's going to have to have the game of his life at 19. Declan Rice cannot afford to have mistakes like he did today. Because if he thinks, boy, if he thinks the Dutch press, Spain are going to be on them, bro. Spain swarm. Olmo, Fabian, they're going to be swarming Declan Rice. He can't afford to have a mistake like today. And then those attackers, man. However, I have to say, Saka versus Kukurea. Saka has to win that matchup. And Jude Bellingham has to come up with a moment. This is like what it takes for England to beat Spain. England have to have the perfect game on top of Jude Bellingham having a moment. Outside of that, bro, chat, I can't lie. I think if Spain are on it, I don't think there's anything England can do. That's my opinion. I think if Spain are on it, it don't matter what England do. I think Spain win this final. How many times will we see the Lamine special on Sunday? <sighs> that backhand. Already we've seen Walker kind of be lazy at the back post. I think England have conceded a few chances and a few goals because of that back post defending. Don't let Lamine find somebody at the back post again, man.